Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com In this quick video I'm going to look at the changes with the December update of the Surface Duo 2 So as well as the Android security updates, Microsoft in includes some new features and some tweaks that are going to improve the performance of the device So the first one is Microsoft say is uh, system reliability and stability and I don't have a lot of issues, maybe the launcher issues every now and again a little bit weird down here um, but so hopefully they fix that but what they have had introduced is animations. So if I just, so I'll just close a couple of apps and show you what I mean. So if I launch the Tips app, you see it gets drawn in like that. Uh, if I do Settings, it gets drawn in like that. Before it didn't do that, and um, you had the throwaway uh, dismiss animation, but not that initial one. So that's quite good to see to see them have that. And the, the app navigation just seems generally better with uh, with this build. They've had a couple of new features as well, or options. So you can here you can have this right uh, screen. This is the current option that or that was that was always on before. You didn't have the choice to turn it off. Is the right screen when you uh, in single screen mode. So when you folded the, the uh, device round, it would always show on the right screen. Now you've got this option to do uh, facing me. So if I fold the device with the left screen in front of me, you see the left screen stays on. And uh, if I fold it with the right screen in front of me, the right screen stays on. So that's a, a nice option. I'm probably going to leave it on the right because I use it on the right most times. And another one is fold back to answer. So you can actually fold the duo back when the call's ringing and it'll answer it automatically so you don't have to touch any buttons on it, which I think is a, a nice little feature. And also another feature is added is if you've got a Surface Slim Pen, uh, you can tap the button if you've got it paired up and it will launch Outlook, which is a, a nice little touch, just like you can do on a Windows PC. So I think that's a nice little feature. So some other improvements, the touch responsiveness has been improved and I think that probably does feel like that. The other thing is the camera usability and responsiveness has been improved as well and I think that generally probably is the case. Although I've not had any major issues with it, I've had a couple of issues with it so far where uh, you couldn't throw away or you couldn't discard the camera, <laughs> it would just kind of stick but uh, not very often. Also improved is uh, LDAC enabled Bluetooth support and improve reliability in the Android 8 Auto experience. Although I have to say I haven't been able to get it to work with uh, with my car at the moment. The Chivas Duo works, but this one doesn't work at all. So I need to have a look and see if I can figure out why it just won't connect. So those are all the the changes. Not a huge amount, but it's good to see them uh, including some uh, fixes and a couple of new settings and things like that. The um, previous update didn't have anything in November, just security. So it's good to see that. So there you go. Quick look at the up up the changes to the Surface Duo. So another change is these dividers as well on um, the notifications. It, this the, the tiles are sort of spaced out with that um, with that grey line on there, and that actually makes it look a lot clearer as well to see. So nice little improvements uh, all around. So good for the. I'm really enjoying using the Surface Duo 2. It's my main device. I use it all the time. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com.